hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to take a moment away from the uh libra tarot readings for the libra idols and i'm going to do a reading for um for the group dpr um uh spe specifically for um for uh dabbing that it's uh he wants to be called like this uh from now on uh his his name um he used to be dpr uh, live um and yes he was with uh with uh, dpr ian and uh, you know there there's this free this free frio um so i do enjoy their music very much so yeah let's do this star routine to see how he's feeling how davin is feeling you know i believe he mentioned something about having his own company and you know uh, in projects so yes let's see how he's doing and how the other members of dpr are how it affects them and how they are you know their plans for the future and what's available also for them so yes let's do this uh if you're a fan i would appreciate uh, your feedback i don't know much about them so you know i'm only going to do this from an energetic point of view i don't know much uh, but yes uh, let's begin with him. I place him on the, at the top. Uh, the four cards that he got are the Nine of Swords, uh, the Lovers, uh, Five of Wands, and the Heliophant. And then from the rest of the DPR uh, guys, we have uh, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Wands, uh, the Devil, and the, the King of Cups. So... Um... It's very interesting that we start with the nine of of swords for this guy for Devin. Um, does anyone know if he had gone through something like you know um, um, troubles with his mind? Like I don't think that it's about his body, but I think that he this wasn't a deci a, an easy decision for him to make i believe that he has spent a lot of sleepless nights like a lot of times actually rooming about this like you know thinking about this um obsessing about this and it had like uh, you know affected his mental health a bit i don't know what happened but there's something about him really like um you know trying to be better trying to organize his ideas because there's this um this sense of like i need to find peace i need silence in my mind you know i need to gather my thoughts and i need to get out of this um it feels like he f feels persecuted or he felt persecuted um like worried constantly worried about something um and yes i mean i mean you know um this this new chapter in his career obviously it takes a lot of courage you know a lot of but i think that he was he wasn't in his best moment when he made the decision because there's something about him really wanting to take this step to be better in his mind so i don't know what happened to him i don't know if it this is uh this is something that he deals with like you know that it's normal of his to be this overwhelmed uh, but i i definitely think that 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 yeah with the lovers and also with the nine of 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 ones i i believe that he he probably had to you know he he was like um i believe that he wanted to do this by himself but but there was also from the other party or maybe you know the other guys being like um oh why well, don't you think about it you know don't rush into making a decision you know like it's not like sort of like trying just not to stop him from making this decision but more like come on think about it think about us think about you know and and I see him like being like, you know, I don't, I need to do this for me. Something like this. Um, here with the lovers, I think that, that, that he probably had a few arguments, but 
I think that this is not about having, a, you know, a disagreement with others, with the other members. I, I believe that this is something about him not feeling happy anymore. Like there's something about him not finding joy in what he was doing or how he was executing his ideas. You know, or him fearing losing some control over his ideas. I don't know if he felt like he was going through a sort of creative blockage, or I don't know. There's a lot of fears in this in this guy's in this guy mind in Devins that, um, honestly, I think that this idea of building his company. You know, we have the company card that I always call the Harry Fan the company card. I think that the idea of building his own company is a way to sort of give more structure to his work because there's something about him feeling like his career had been very messy lately like he was either he was interrupted or he was you know he was facing some issues he couldn't get to a certain agreement with the rest of the guys you know there was something like a lot of things being postponed or maybe things them not getting to an agreement on certain things and he was like okay I'm wasting my time and I don't want to lose like I don't want to lose the opportunities now um also I get the feeling that the guy is very passionate about creation you know about creating so I definitely can see him like okay I have to focus on myself because I don't want to lose the the, the flow of um, you know, of creation or whatever he has in his mind. You know, it seems like he needs to put it into action right away. Otherwise, uh, he feels like he loses it. You know, he loses the inspiration. Uh, so there's like, okay, this has to happen now. Um, uh, and then, uh, yeah, with the Hierophant, I believe that, that uh, this for him is is important because um is this company represents like this sort of rock you know this sort of maybe you know literally if we are talking about a building you know a, a building uh i think that he needs uh you know um something that can ground him you know because otherwise i think that he felt like his career was like in the clouds a lot like he needed a foundation he needed a, a stability he needed to be like okay this is what i'm working on this is what i'm working for i need to build if i cannot build i'm going to lose my mind like i need to build like he needed maybe this physical space that he's going to have uh, or or even, you know, having a corporation or having a company, it, you know, it has a lot to do with rules and protocols. And there's something about him being like, you know, I need these rules and protocols. I cannot choose, you know, be spontaneous about my creations. I want to do this properly. I want, you know, the, the right papers. I want the right contracts. I want the right serious people um and and this is not to say that that you know the the other guys are not serious it's just that i think that for him it was like okay i need this because i haven't been feeling very well lately like very well like um like on, w grounded you know i feel like he felt like with his head in the clouds a lot like he needed like like you know like something to be like okay I need my career to have a structure. I need I need it to have a source and I need it to be a physical place where I, I'm like, okay, it, it is here. Um, and this is why he's doing this. You know, this is why he... I think that he has done very well with the other members, like when it comes to um, how they had been managing things. But something happened that he felt very unsafe. You know, he felt like, okay, what if I lose my work or what if something happens and we lose something and we don't have like i don't know if it's an institution or if it's the the the, the lawyers the the documents i don't know if there was something missing in their organization that he was like okay if we continue working like this we might lose everything one day you know and and and, and you know i i don't want that i need 
a stability. He definitely, I, I even, I don't know the, these guys, like, like these guys, like, oh, uh, sign, like, I don't know what sign he is, but it seems that like he really went through a lot, that it, it made him feel very unsafe and very unstable. He's like, okay, I have to stop playing around. I have to, you know, make a decision. I cannot continue living like this. Um, so, yeah, I think that he's going to do okay. Um, at first, probably he's going to face a few, you know, challenges. It's not going to go all that smooth. But I think that he's very secure about where he wants to go. So, you know, there's no, um, you know, there's no interruption. He really wants to, to, you know, get more traditional probably, you know, in the sense of like, okay, I want to get the papers in order. I want to get the people in order. I want to you know, uh, follow the rules, I want to make rules, you know, like, sort of like being a bit more traditional, I would say, um, and not so, like, free and wild. I don't know why I, I get this this vibe of free and wild, or wild and free. Um, and then from the other guys' perspectives, the DPR uh, members, uh, we have the Seven of Cups, you know, the Three of Wands, the Devil, and the King of Cups. So, I definitely think that for them, this is like uh, a new opportunity also to them review their own work and their own, um, their own, you know, ideas from now on. Um, definitely, I think that the guys are very passionate, uh, but yeah, there's a bit of a lot of daydreaming. You know, probably this is what when I see, when I compare, you know, uh, this, uh, this, this guy, uh, Davin, and, 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 and the other guys, I definitely can see that the other guys are much more emotional and probably are a bit much more of a dreamer, I would say, of dreamers, you know, like a, a bit much more on the illusion kind of side. But uh, nevertheless, this is going to be, um, you know, um, an important uh, step for them. I believe that that it is not, um, it, it's actually like a good time for them to focus also on themselves and review a lot of things about what they had been doing, you know, and be like, okay, maybe we need, we also need to introduce other changes. So um, I, I definitely think that they are, um, they're still not completely like aware of what this change means, you know, with the Seven of Cups, I think that they they have a lot of ideas and a lot of things on the work you know they, they definitely these these guys are very creative but they are so creative that sometimes it's hard to put it into into action you know it seems like they have the vision or they have a lot of visions but when it comes to work like to pull it into work it's it's very it can be an illusion you know it can fade away it seems, but definitely for an artist, you know, it's very, um, it's very important to have this this level of illusion as this as well. Uh, definitely, they are they are going to be looking at the future and be like, okay, like this happened, but how can we learn and grow from this? You know, how can we move on from this? Like, definitely, there's no hard feelings. There's nothing like. There's no heartbreak neither. There's there's like a lot of understanding and also there's something that probably I believe that if the guys are working, there's something about them also being very focused on their ne next chapter and not being actually able to sort of understand, you know, how how this change is going to impact them. I think that there's a bit of, you know, denial, I would say as well, you know, there's like Oh yeah, okay, yeah, this happened. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, everything is cool. You know, they are showing a very optimistic, but here with the devil, I'm like, you know, um, these are very emotional people. And maybe with this king of cups in here, I, I could see Christian definitely, um, him being very emotional, very, you know, um, you know, very sensitive, um, but I, I think that, that, yeah, definitely he's like the key element of DPR. There's something about him because I, I know that he's not the only, 
you know, the only artist in DPR, but definitely I see, I see Christian and also him, him next to the debut. I think that I see his struggles as well, you know, that, that Christian does, does have his, uh, you know, his own uh, mental health, you know, and, and there's, there's a lot of, a lot of things that, that make him be the amazing artist that he is because, you know, the King of Cups, it's someone that definitely is a king, is an authority, and also is someone that, that is in charge of his emotions. So, um, I, I see, you know, that, that probably, you know, with his, um, his state of mind, you know, a Christian will always have to sort of have a, a, a routine or a sort of attachment to this this part of him you know that he can have his moments you know he can have his moments but at the end of the day I don't think this is going to interrupt his um his love for music or making music I actually believe that he will continue um he will continue even when things for them, it does, is going to sound like, you know, like it's not that structured, like what Davin wants to do. Uh, but I believe that they are going to do well um, because I see Christian here and I believe that Christian is like the, you know, is like the ace, you know, he is the one that he is like the face to the public. And the public loves him. The public just loves his art, just loves the way he communicates, loves the way he opens up, loves the way, loves his vulnerability, loves the complexity of his character. They love everything about him. And he's a very emotional and a very, um, he's very transparent, you know, and he will always have this emotionality, um, you know, and this you know, transparency about his vulnerability. So I believe that that's his trademark, you know, that's what makes him famous. And and this is why I, I think that I don't know what company they're under or who manages DPR. Now that Davin is not here, I don't know who manages what, but it seems like, um, like, you know, um, Christian could be like, you know, like the, the image, you know, like the, the, he is like this. Um, this is why I think that, that, yeah, these news are here, but I think that people are enjoying so much what, what Christian is providing at the moment, that they are so focused, so hypnotized by him, that I think that the audience also will, will, you know, have like, will not truly uh, focus on this change they are like oh yeah thank you be I, I wish you well yeah yeah I will love you but uh, there's something about people just being very focused on, on Christian and also you know here that I see um, that I see the devil and I see the king of cups you know maybe also for Christian or maybe another another one of them that is going to step up and be like okay I have to be the authority in here I have to show show myself as I have to show more responsibility. Now that it's just the two of us or now that it's just us, we have to change a bit and get a bit more assertive because you know that the devil it's also about becoming more ambitious. So there's something about either Christian is going to change, the other member is going to change, or there's they are going to have a new boss or a new advisor or a new CEO, someone that is going to be like, okay, we can make money of these certain management changes. So this is why I think that for them, this is very important because they are going to grow because of this change. You know, each, each of them on their, uh, on their side, you know, um, but definitely what I, I do find very interesting is that, that for the DPR guys, they are actually doing okay. They are very happy. They are very content. You know, they are very emotionally fulfilled. They are very happy. And and then there's something about Davin that I, I'm like, wow, what happened to you that you you were so, like, so 
so unhappy that you had to, you know, like being like, because I'm sure, uh, the, you know, the need for a structure and, and all of this that he's creating is actually very, is very valid. It's actually a great move. Um, but he definitely went through something to, to, to get to this, you know, and there's a bit of sadness inside of him. There's a bit of regret. There's a bit of, you know, feeling a bit impatient. And in, in for the other guys, it's the completely opposite. It's like, okay, yeah, we are owning this era. Okay. And, and maybe it's because they are busy. They are, they are like promoting something that they are already promoting something now. So maybe their mind is more focused on, you know, what they are achieving at the moment. So they are happy. You know, there's something about them like being happy, being in control and and feeling very fulfilled, you know, like. Um, and I don't know when was the last time that maybe Davin released something or created something or I don't know. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know much about how they work. So if I'm like not getting something right please guys educate me in the comment section because i don't understand how they work like i used to consume all of their music but i i wasn't like paying attention like oh this is this and this is this for me they were a group um but yeah um so yeah this is this is all i can i i get from for them so yeah let's wish uh, dubbing this this uh let's wish him well in this road to finding some balance and some stability in his business that I'm sure that he he definitely feels like he needed this he needed to make this decision so I'm sure that he's going to find it um, so yes guys this is all I have thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye